There's more to life than hunting, Kwaizen. You're here. It's a great pleasure to meet one of the Republic's finest. I read the report about your handling of Nalan Raylock on Tython. Extraordinary work for a young Jedi. You flatter me, sir. Please continue. If only I weren't here on business. I represent Venara Kale, Senator of Coruscant. She not only speaks for our capital world in the Galactic Senate, but oversees this planet's government. Senator Kale leads the effort to rebuild what was destroyed during the Sith Empire's invasion. Healing those old wounds has been slow and painful. The war's been over a long time. It's hard to believe we're still recovering. Some wounds run deeper than others. This world faces many a crises. A shattered infrastructure, a booming refugee population, whole sectors descending into anarchy. All of these hinder the rebuilding. Senator Kale believes you're specially qualified to deal with a dangerous and urgent threat. She'd appreciate the favor of a meeting. Immediately. The Great Jedi has fallen ill. She is my priority. Keep an open mind. What's good for Senator Kale is good for Master Yuan as well. Senator Kale is the greatest leader we've had in decades. She'll not only rebuild this world, but the rest of the Republic with it. Speak to Minister Immo at the Senate Tower. Tell him you're expected. Good luck, and welcome to Coruscant. Thank you for coming on short notice. I'm Senator Venara Kale. Forgive my abruptness, but time is a luxury I don't possess. As you may have heard, Coruscant is overwhelmed with refugees fleeing Imperial tyranny. Many have been here since the war. The refugees took over the old galactic market sector, huddling in shops and warehouses that were abandoned during the sacking of Coruscant. They refused to leave. There has to be a better place for these refugees to live. We've offered to resettle them off-world, but they're demanding to remain here. As so often happens when fear and poverty dominate, a criminal element has risen to take advantage of the situation. The Migrant Merchants Guild began as a political advocacy group for refugees. Over the years, it transformed into a ruthless and murderous criminal syndicate. Why haven't you forced all the refugees out? Once they're gone, the gang goes with them. Past attempts to forcibly relocate refugees ended poorly. The criminals helped the people resist and came away looking like heroes. The Migrant Merchants Guild has grown increasingly hostile and violent. Their criminal enforcers have acquired military-grade weaponry. Earlier today, their thugs took to the streets. They attacked our security personnel, set fires, began rioting. We're facing an armed insurrection. I've negotiated with hostile parties before. Put me in touch with these criminals. I'll do what I can. Jedi are warriors as well as diplomats. If diplomacy fails, we must use force. For generations, the old galactic market was Coruscant's central trade hub. Its importance isn't merely economic. It's a symbol of the Republic's freedom. The comm channels are jammed. We've lost contact with our security forces. I need your help ending this crisis. The criminals must not win. You've hired the best, Senator. Just sit back and relax. I can't promise that, but at least I have hope. Do whatever you must to save innocent lives from that criminal filth. Find my security chief, Captain Winborn. He'll help. Good luck. I failed. I failed. I failed. I'm sorry. I failed. Once there were two little boys. Their names were Parcanus and... and something. Why can't I remember? What's going on here? The story. The other little boy in the... Padawan. I'm not mad. The man in the shadows is making me this way. He brings the darkness. It's coming. 
The man in the shadows? I don't understand. Parcanis! Parcanis, where are you? Yuan! Farron? Please, see Yuan back to her room. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm Atris Finn, the researcher here. We must get to work finding a cure. She keeps talking about someone called Parcanis. Who is that? You don't know either? Never mind. A cure is what Yuan really needs. The problem is that the greatest collection of learning in the galaxy, the Jedi Temple here on Coruscant, has lain in ruins since the war. I believe the answer to curing Yuan is in the archives of the Temple Ruins, but accessing them won't be easy. Centuries of learning scattered. We added to the Sith's victory by being careless. The Temple's artificers created a system to sort through the vast stores of knowledge. A set of three holocrons that served as guides. The wisdom and personalities of the Order's greatest masters were imprinted on these guides, which they called Noeticons. I see no need for hesitation here. Unfortunately, we don't have the Noeticons. Not anymore. The temple ruins were looted. The Noeticons were taken. I have a lead on one of them, but it's not in friendly hands. Republic security spotted some Gan scavengers carrying a Noeticon in the Migrant Merchants Guild. The Republic brought one of the Gand in for questioning, but he won't talk. If this Gand has information to help you on, I'll get some answers. The Republic officer you want is Alec Efren. He's at the security outpost with the Gand right now. And I'm working on a lead for the second Noeticon. I should have something by the time you get back. Good luck. Honorable Jedi, a moment, please. I greet you on behalf of the great and noble Senator Dolly Burbark. The Senator sent me as his representative, though he'd prefer to be here himself. He loves to walk among his people. Is there a point to all of this? Today, the Senator sent me to find brave and loyal citizens to help with a security crisis. It involves his work to restore the Republic to glory by re-establishing our technological superiority. That's all very nice, but what's the crisis? I was just getting to that. Recently, the Senator arranged to acquire a shipment of computer chips, advanced hardware that could create whole new industries for the Republic. Unfortunately, the shipment was hijacked by the Migrant Merchants Guild. Now, Republic security is afraid to take on the Guild's thugs. The officers at Republic Security sound pretty pathetic. Someone around here needs to take a stand against the Migrant Merchants Guild. The Senator wants me to find that someone. Recovering the shipment of chips from the Guild would be a great service to Senator Bark and the Republic. A child could do this. I can tell you're a woman who means what she says. I'm glad I found you. To find out where the Guild has hidden the Senator's shipment, you'll have to speak with Security Captain Denel Zahn. He ran the investigation. Then return the shipment to Senator Bark's office in the Senate Tower. I'm sure he'll want to thank you personally. Hi, welcome. Welcome to the, um, Old Galactic Market, uh, sir. I'm sorry, I just... I never met a real Jedi up close. I could certainly get used to being a celebrity. Um, right, yes. Well, anyway... This is the, uh, Gand we brought in. He was talking about that Jedi holocron you're all looking for, but he's not exactly, uh, talkative. You will tell me about the holocron. Where is the holocron now?
Why haven't the Gan tried to move the Holocron off of Coruscant? That seems excessively complicated. I'll bet the signals have something to do with the Gant hierarchy. Throw up the right one and, and you'll get their leader. In accordance with Security Force Regulation 1195, conversations with non-security personnel are to be kept to a minimum. Let's make this quick. I'm Captain Denel Zahn. Senator Barks Page ordered me to give you information regarding the Senator's stolen goods. It's best to just get on with it. We'll see. Under Security Appropriations Policy B-71, I'm allowed to share classified information, if you're working for us. Did the Senator's crony tell you where the shipment came from, or what these computer chips are for? It's a job. Nothing more. All right, I get it. You should still know the truth, though. The chips are from planet Ryloth. They're designed to operate remote control slave collars. Under Republic Law 4412, Rylothian slave collars and the chips used to make them are illegal in Republic space, even for Senators. What do you think I can do about it? Put on one of those slave collars and let me shock you a few times. You'll care. Our immediate problem is that these slave collar chips are spread around the Migrant Merchants Guild headquarters. First priority is get the shipment together again. After that, bring the chips back to me and I'll make sure they're destroyed. Do you intend to prosecute Senator Bark for this? Not up to me. My superiors will decide how to proceed with the case. Find the chips and get out of the guild warehouse. Once you've got everything, I suggest you let us deal with the shipment, not the Senator. Cut power to the whole blasted planet if you have to. We can't let those crazies take over the network. Captain Winborn? Senator Kale said you need backup. What's the situation? We're getting cut to pieces down here. We're not trained to fight an army of killers. These gangsters are smart, organized, clearly trained off-world. They'll kill thousands. Might even destroy the Senate Tower. The Senate Tower is nowhere near this sector. Scum found themselves a way around that little detail. The gangsters brought slicers to access every network node in the sector. They're trying to take over the automated speeder flight paths. They'll cause thousands of mid-air collisions. It'll rain debris on the Senate Tower like a meteor storm. Telling how many will die. Have to hand it to the bad guys. They know how to put on a show. You're here to help us, right? The gangsters have armed patrols guarding the network access points. We need to push them back and manually lock down the terminals. Get enough terminals, we might just pull this off. My men will back you up. Good luck in there. Let's see if this works. structure requires that it be removed from... With all respect, Master Arca, you are incorrect. The structure only appears fractal. If you view it through the lens of the Force, you... I don't suppose either of you is going to move past your petty geometrical squabble long enough to notice we have a visitor. I came for information, not to be dragged into a debate. I would be offended, but you make a fair point. The last person to use the Noeticon got so tired of hearing these two yammer, he shut us down. It was a mercy. Wait, Master Thoris. Where is the Jedi Temple? We seem to have been moved. I'll explain later. For now, I need information on an illness that is affecting my master. How terrible. Gone. 
Tell us her symptoms. Perhaps we can help. So, she claims the darkness is coming and talks of someone called Arcanus, and her mind is most affected. Hmm. I'm afraid we've plied our extensive knowledge of biological, chemical, and technological diseases, but this illness is beyond us. What would you have me do? Sometimes knowledge comes through ruling out false ideas. For once, Master Vandar and I agree. Yuan's illness is definitely not medical, but we have accessed files that bear cross-checking. If you can find the Noeticon of Light, where Masters Noah, Nomi, and Woe guard the Jedi Order's mystical knowledge, they may be able to help. Where is the Noeticon of Light? We do not know. Ordinarily, it would have been connected with us in the temple, but no more. I'm sorry we couldn't have been of more help, but it's difficult without the other parts of the Noeticon. Find the Noeticon of Light, and seek your answer there. May the Force be with you. And remember, if you seek answers, you must always ask questions. My man can't believe you took on all those gangsters and lived. You're a blasted hero, you know that? With the network terminals locked down, the speeder traffic is secure. Now, all that's left is pushing out those gangsters for good. It was some kind of encrypted message on the network. It looks like a recording. Let me see that. Hmm. It's an old migrant merchant's guild code. I think I can decrypt it. Here we go. You accepted our friendship, Senator Kale, and credits. It's time you paid us back. All we want are the housing projects you promised our people now. Your people will have to wait their turn like everyone else. I owe you nothing. If you continue pushing me, I'll destroy you all. Should have known Senator Kale was too good to be true. She's even a bigger crook than I thought. Doesn't make sense. There's gotta be an explanation. Your extortion attempt has failed. My people are pushing back your little army as we speak. It's over. Nobody breaks a deal with us, Senator. We'll have what we want in one way or another. This is way above my pay grade. I'm not destroying the reputation of Coruscant's most popular politician. Take the recording. I don't want it. I will speak to her. She'll have a good explanation. She has to. Senator Kale has done great things for Coruscant. She's a good woman. Give her a chance. My men and I will stay down here. You should go back to the Senate Tower. <laughs> That will be all, Minister. Dismissed. Captain Winborn contacted me. You thwarted an attack that would have killed thousands. You have my gratitude. Unfortunately, you also have a hollow recording I would like destroyed. Its contents will only cause harm. How much is your reputation worth to you? Despite what you must think, I'm not wealthy. Everything I've earned has been invested in Coruscant. My opponent in the elections was a vile man. Lazy, stupid, and corrupt. He wasn't interested in building, only taking. I had to win. But I didn't possess as much wealth as he did. When those gangsters approached me, I accepted their donation. And I'd do it again. Do you hear yourself? After everything that's happened, you still won't admit to being wrong? I'm not wrong. If you'd witnessed the suffering on this world, the poverty and despair, you'd know that. I stole from those criminals to rebuild Coruscant for its people, set things right. I'll bring the Migrant Merchants Guild to justice. You hold the power to ensure my success. Let me finish healing this world. Please, destroy that recording. You're all clear, Senator. Thank you. I won't forget what you've done for me. For Coruscant. Since you're feeling generous, how about a donation to my favorite cause? Certainly. Take it in the spirit of friendship and discretion.
I'll see to it you're properly recognized for your heroism in the old galactic market. Farewell. Hey, I'm Senator Bark. Hiram has told me he found someone to aid in our cause. I presume that brave citizen is you. Tell me, did you recover my shipment from the Migrant Merchants Guild? Those chips are very valuable. I have it here. I'm sure Hiram has mentioned generous compensation for your services, in addition to the privilege of serving the Republic. If you will hand over my shipment now, we can talk about your reward. The chips are all yours, Senator. Thank you. Please take this in exchange for your services. Now, if you will excuse me, I have quite a lot of work to do. But I'm proud to have worked with such a patriot. Good, you're back. Did you find it? The first Noeticon? I talked to the Noeticon's masters. They had advice, but no definitive cure. You actually spoke to them? Amazing. At least we're on the right track. I have a solid lead on the second Noeticon. Unfortunately, it's in Black Sun territory. They're a local gang. Pretty vicious. They'll give me the Noeticon peacefully, or face a battle. It's their choice. Tell me where I need to go. Tuana Uba Kili Wata Funky Danko Padoga Lola.